Hey, YouTubies, I want to talk about ghosts and spirits. In my study, I've pretty much concentrated on the physical world, the carnal state, the past, what I think is under the ground, and genetics and so on. But there's another component that I haven't talked a lot about, and that is the, the soul and the spirit world. And there is a possibility that what we're dealing with is from a different dimension. Now, what has got me curious is some of these readings, allegedly, by Edgar Cayce. He not only described Atlantis, but he talked about contacting telepathic, telepathically these beings that he called the Arcturians. I'm trying to track this down. Now, what I've seen so far is a paper from the Edgar Cayce Society or .org about Arcturus being the way out for the soul, out of this plane of existence. I've seen other people create websites and videos showing these Arcturians pretty much looking like gray aliens. And allegedly, he was... Edgar Casey was saying they were a very highly developed species that was allegedly the custodians of the human race. So I'm trying to track this down. It's going to take me a while. I need to find the original readings that state this. Uh, I do have a book that talks about what he said on Atlantis, and that was by his son, so that gave me some pretty credible information. But this Arcturian thing is something new, and I'm trying to run that down. Now, I've told you that I, I do some periodic ghost investigations on the side. I don't do too much of it. I don't want attachments if it's real. I've heard too many horror stories, and I probably prefer to leave that to professional ghost hunters to really, really look at that. That is just not my cup of tea. I, I'll look at it somewhat, but I, I just don't want to bring that home. And I've talked to some ghost hunters, and they have problems when they start doing this that kind of work. Things tend to follow them home, and I'm just not interested in that. I have too many other things I'm trying to take care of. But it is an area I, I am paying attention to because... There's a lot of information coming from that area about these alleged reptilians or greys or whatever you want to call them. And here's another name, Arcturians. And I just want to show you I, uh, some brief clips of some ghost hunts or investigations I've done. One was in Antioch, Illinois, and there were EVPs taken via the tour guide and... One of the EVPs, you can hear a man saying, help me. The second one was at Jane Adams, and I did this myself. I didn't hear it when I was recording, but you kind of you may have to turn up your volume. At the very end, there's a woman that says, there's a lady here. And then there's a pause and it says, right there. And I was basically looking at the Jane Adams house through the window because it was locked up and closed on a weekend and there really wasn't anybody around or in that building to say that. So, you know, it's kind of up to you to decide, but there is something to this kind of research that it does get results some things are captured on film. Some things are captured on tape. Other things are experienced. I haven't, like I said, delved into it tremendously. I'm not going to do that. It's just not my cup of tea. I wouldn't mind interviewing some ghost hunters to get all of their information. Like I said, I do research what they put out. But I do think it's important because, as I said, there's a lot of information that people are getting from this kind of contact that may also give answers to what I'm looking for. So take a listen and you can let me know what you think. Thanks. 
Do you hear something say, help me? Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Hold on.